Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept two integer. matrix of size r cross c and it should reverse the r position of r rows and reverse the even position of even rows and finally the program is print the sum of the two matrices so now we'll take our third test case for our convenience it is easy also and now we have two rows and six columns that is these are the two matrices. So in this, this is the odd row. That is, first row is the odd row, right? So we'll reverse them. So we should reverse the odd position. So it will become fifty six eighty one. And then sorry, here it is fifty eight eighty one and then fifty six fifty and we'll have fifty and then fifty eight. So now this is the even row, even position must be reversed. So 68, 49, 17, 56, 84, and 16. So now, first matrix is over. Then we'll go to the second matrix. So this is the odd row. So now we'll reverse them. So it becomes 81, 88, 36. 20, 20, and then 36, and we'll reverse this row so it becomes 83, 92, 16, 26, 86, and 44. So now we have got the M1, and this is m2 so now we'll add m1 and m2 and that is 58 plus 81 139 and 81 plus 88 then we'll have so on so we'll add things and this will be our final output Get clarifications for any program and clear your program errors effortlessly by using our Instagram page. Programming made simple here. We have mentioned our Insta ID in this video description. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the number of rows and columns. And then we'll have the variables matrix 1, matrix 2 and we'll have empty lists for them. And then we'll iterate over that is for row in range R. So we'll get the rows. So now after getting the rows, 
we have to reverse them right so we have to reverse the rows and append them to the matrix accordingly so for that array equal to reverse row of array comma row mod 2 that is which determines it is odd row or even row so after that we'll have to append the row to the matrix one so we'll have the same code for the matrix two so we'll define the function reverse row later and after this we have to find the sum of the two matrix so for that for row in range r and for column in range c we have to add and print so print the matrix 1 plus matrix 2 and then we'll have the end argument and the print new line so now we'll define the function reverse row reverse row so the arguments are the array and the num that is row mod and here we'll have the list called as post ins where it will store the odd positions of the odd rows and the even position of the even rows so we'll use uh, this post ins to determine the positions of the rows here we'll have array of index for index in range num comma len of array comma 2 and now this row should be reversed accordingly if it is even or odd it should be reversed now this post index integers will be reversed and after reversing it must be appended to the respective matrices so for index in range the length of array if the index mod 2 is equal to equal to uh, num mod 2 so if it is true means then we are going to replace the array of index as the post int 0 and then we'll use the slice operation that is post ints 1 and finally we'll return the array so now let us execute our program we'll take our first test case and pass it so here we have got the correct output now we'll take our second test case and execute it and here also we have got the correct output now we'll execute our third test case here also we have got the correct output Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.